Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video we will learn about Pulse Tube Refrigerator, along with its different parts and functions. So, let's get into the topic. The Pulse Tube Refrigerator is also called Cryogenic Refrigerator. The term cryo, is obtained from the Greek word cryo, which means to cool down something. Thus, it is also known as cryogenic refrigeration. Now, let's discuss about it in details. First, let's look into the major parts and components, and their functions in the pulse tube refrigerator. Here, we have a compressor. Now, at the first step, the compressor starts working. The job of the compressor is to pressurize or compress the gas provided inside this compressor chamber. Here, in pulse tube refrigerator we use helium gas as a heat carrying medium throughout the whole procedure. Now, we know that if pressure increases, it also increases the temperature. So, when, this helium gas is compressed inside the compressor chamber by squeezing the gas very tightly together, it will heat up. After that, this high pressure and high temperature helium gas will leave the compressor, and will enter into the receiver through this connected pipe. Now, the function of the receiver is to collect and accumulate this gas coming from the compressor up to an optimum level, so that it can keep supplying the gas forward to the other parts according to requirement. Connected to this receiver, here we have a valve. This valve opens and closes according to requirement, to supply the compressed gas from this receiver chamber when needed. It will open when gas has to be supplied forward to the next parts. And if further supply is not needed, the valve remains closed, and gas keeps accumulating in the receiver until the valve opens again. After that, the valve is connected to a regenerator through this connecting pipe. The regenerator contains net-shaped porous substance inside it. These net-shaped porous structure can be built using steel wire or copper wire. Now, before understanding the function of the regenerator, let's understand the concept based on which it works. We know that, whenever we pass a high pressure and high temperature gas through expansion valve, or through a throttling veil, or through any small opening, or small channel, then this high pressure high temperature gas expands while coming out from the other side of this small channel. And when this high pressure high temperature gas expands, the pressure between its molecules fall considerably which also reduces the temperature, and the gas cools down. In other words, both pressure and temperature of the gas reduces after passing through this small opening, or small channel, or throttling valve. Now, this regenerator does the same job. When the high pressure high temperature gas coming from the valve through this connecting pipe, is passed through this very small net shaped porous structure inside the regenerator, then the gas expands. The pressure reduces and thus the gas cools down. So the regenerator gives the throttling effect to cool this gas. After that, this regenerator is connected to a pulse tube. Now, the gas coming out of the regenerator is becoming low pressure low temperature gas at this point, and, the low pressure cold gas is received at this portion of the pulse tube. Now, from here we pass this cool gas to a heat exchanger. This heat exchanger uses the cool low temperature gas for cooling processes in it. Now, after doing its work of cooling in the heat exchanger, the gas will come back to the pulse tube. Now, since the cold gas was passed to the heat exchanger for doing its cooling effect, thus while coming out of the heat exchanger we get comparatively high temperature gas entering the pulse tube through this pipe. Now, at the same time cool gas supply is coming from this side through the regenerator, and also the warm high temperature gas is coming through this side from heat exchanger. So, this cool low temperature gas will apply pressure on this warm comparatively high temperature gas, and compress it in the closed bottom end portion of this pulse tube. Since, this is a closed end, so the gas will not go out of here, and will get compressed here due to force from the gas from upper layer. And when the gas is getting compressed here, it again becomes hot due to the high increase in pressure, that is, both pressure and temperature increases here just like the compressor chamber. So we have hot gas over here. After that, once again we will pass this high temperature gas through another heat exchanger. This heat exchanger can be either water cooled, or air cooled, depending on specification and requirements. And when this high temperature gas is given to this cold heat exchanger, 
it absorbs heat from the gas and cools down the gas as much as possible according to its heat absorbing capability. Then we will pass this comparatively cool gas again to the compressor over here. The compressor will further increase the pressure and temperature of the gas and pass it forward to the receiver, valve, regenerator and so on, and thus the process will keep repeating continuously. Now, in setup of pulse tube refrigerator we have made some small modifications so that it can be understood very easily. In our textbooks and general study guides, we don't see this heat exchanger, and there is nothing shown about where this gas goes from the pulse tube, and it becomes complex to understand. So, we have modified the setup to bring every process together, so that function of the pulse tube refrigerator can be understood easily. Thank you for watching this video. If this video was helpful, subscribe to my channel Academic Game Tutorials for more updated videos.